Hey y'all, it's a beautiful day. Um, the Lord wanted me to tell y'all this, straight to the point. God provides us with green pastures. It says it in Psalms, right? And what that means is it is God's delight to give us fresh everything, a fresh word, a fresh life, a fresh start. And so like, I was homeless. I was homeless, I had five kids, right? And I gave up everything. I said, I'm giving up weed, I'm giving up all of the things that I was doing that wasn't working in my life. And so in the midst of all of that, things, amazing things started happening. I mean, ASAP, as soon as I just decided to just trust God. I noticed that before I would trust God, but then I'll be kind of doing it myself. And then I'll be like, okay, God, let me do it. But this time I said, God, I'm not doing nothing. I'm about to reach your word. I'm about to look at prophetic words. I'm about to change how I do things. And yes, I got tested. The devil came, he came, right? And he started playing tricks on me. I started having nightmares. Um, I started having withdrawals for the weed. I started like really tripping, right? I was crying a lot. But then in the, in the, in the same time of that, I was also going to God, like, God, can you stop me from crying? I literally dealt with God with everything and I let God deal with me. So this message here is just to let you know, like, hold on, baby, I have five kids. And yes, it's hard. My kids is always, mommy, 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 screaming, crying. When I get on the phone, they're crying. When I'm doing something, they're crying. They want me, um, they're hungry. But God provides everything that I need, every single thing that I need, right? And I realized that I don't have nothing to worry about because all I have to do is put my mind to it. That's all I have to do. Baby, no. All I have to do is put my mind to it, right? Whatever I want, I write it down. Whatever my desires are, I make sure I, I make goals to do that. Whatever I don't like, I take it out of my life. Whatever I do like, I put it into my life. Whatever God wants me to do, I do it. Whatever God wants me to say, I say it. You know, so the devil tries to take my tongue. The devil tries to stress me out all the time. But I remember when I was in that hotel room with my kids, with all of my kids, right? And I remember when I had nothing and all of a sudden I said, God, because my prayers is crazy. Like, I would pray for the most craziest things just to see if they happen. Not testing God, but just, like, to know my God can do it. And this is what I want, so I don't want to hold back. I don't want the devil to feel like, oh, no, God can't do that. Yes, he can. So I asked for a rich man. And while I was in the hotel, I got a phone call from somebody that I knew. Now, mind you, the rich man was in my contacts already. So what happened was, this is where, where it gets crazy. The rich guy called me and said, I need you to help me. I said, with what? He asked me what he wanted me to do. I said, okay, but I have my kids. He said, bring your kids. That's something that I never would have thought that a rich man would want, me and my kids. So I went over there. He said, I want to pay you $800 a day to just take care of me, just to like clean up for me, go run some errands for me. Your kids can stay here. I'm like, no, you know, my kids are going to come with me, but thank you for inviting us all in. I was getting $800 a day. I then used that money to move into my place. Come on, God. Come on, God. I was taking care of that man for about a whole month. I was able to buy furniture. I was able to have my security deposit. I was able to give back to people. I was able to help people. I was able to buy books that I needed, clothes for my kids. I was able to buy hair, everything. So there's nothing that God cannot do nothing whatever you want ask him today i bet you he'll do it i know he'll do it so i hope this helps somebody and i will be back later on to just talk about a few more things or whatever but like i've been real busy and like today i just woke up and god said speak so that's what i'm doing i love you guys and god does too bye